Welcome everybody, I am a princess, and he is my husband. And, and we, we are, are the sparkles. sparkles. Looks like we are doing 10 episodes, so don't miss out. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Pick up your balls and let's go inside, right now. Yes dear, right away. This is embarrassing. Sorry dear, let's go inside. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our home. home. Hi Ben. I'm here with my husband finally. Sorry we are a little late. We got stopped outside by those middle-aged white women. No worries, those middle-aged white women do like to talk. Can I get an elbow bump? Of course you can. We need to work in this together if we are going to end this pandemic. Nice moon suit. Where did you get it? I have been looking for one. You do? Well, it may look like NASA gave it to me, but it is actually from my Maneater Spring collection. Oh, really? This piece is called Maneater on Mars. I designed it for the virus-infested world we are living in today. I like it. It has its own cooling system, so you don't have a problem with breathing. Wow, that is really innovative and original. I know, I invented it all by myself. The idea came to me when I was in Africa fighting to eradicate Ebola. I warned the UN that we too could see a pandemic in the Western world. Sure enough I was right. That is crazy, you and your husband have a knack for predicting these global catastrophes. This airtight helmet is great for people who want to show their face. Go sit over there, so you can have a good view of what it looks like to have a woman seated at the table in these executive discussions. Alright, today we are going to review your global image stats, and discuss ways we can improve. Wait. What? Ways to improve? Why don't we get seated? We have a lot to cover. You must be talking about my husband. I would agree, he needs some help with his brand image. As you know, we at Sunflower Stinks, do all we can to represent our clients in the best possible light, by coming up with fresh and new ways to get the public to like you. Let me pull up a few slides to show you where we are year to date. We have been representing you for two years, and last year, we assigned more people to help wipe the internet for you. Thanks to the growth of your PR disasters, I was hired on board to personally handhold your brand image online. We appreciate all your business and looking forward to another great year together in 2022. You guys are the best. Okay, let's take a look at some recent surveys and polls. What are we looking at? According to The Economist magazine. Ooh, I love The Economist. I read that magazine. Then I assume you saw our global poll from last week. Uh, I haven't been able to read last week's issue. You know how it is when you are a working parent. Another reason for paid family leave. We facilitated this polling for you. Oh, I see. 15% is not that bad. I guess the 15% are the improvements needed for my husband. Not quite, in fact, it is the reverse. So 85% of the world hates us? Hate is a strong word. I would say that you are more like an acquired taste. Who make up the 15%? They would be the people in the homegrown terrorist group we had created to threaten and ruin the lives of any of your critics. Essentially, it is your existing paid fan base, known as the Psycho Squad. Bloody hell. Is this where my inheritance is going? Surely this is not our truth. I want you to do the poll again, pretend this one never happened and create a new narrative that have a higher percentage, like 99%. Ben, get her off our account. She doesn't like me, and it is clear she is sabotaging my success because I am black. I see the systemic racism of our people. I agree with my wife, we need a change on the team. Normally, we would make the change, but it took us 18 months to find the last team replacement for you. I don't think we could do without the extra cyberbully. Let's get through this meeting and I will have a talk with the team. Picking up where I left off, let's take a look at a power couple who has a popularity rating of almost 100%. We all have seen Billy and Kathy before. Their relationship looks effortless. What are you trying to say? The team is thinking we should take a page out of their book and copy it. Copy? How is that being authentic and organic? I don't mean it in that way. Let's get you doing some everyday activities that you both enjoy. For example, Billy and Kathy are off duty in this picture. 
They went to this hospital on a Sunday after church and spent time. This was taken by one of the doctors. No one knows why they went or what they were doing there. Did anyone ask for your opinion? Um, no. So but... why are you speaking? I don't find this picture very polarizing or controversial. I, myself, am quite bored looking at this photo. It is not supposed to be anything. The point is to give people a glimpse of what they may be up to. Curiosity builds more interest. So when there are the red carpet moments, people naturally gravitate. What is the big deal about this gold dress? Can you please get this off the screen? This meeting is dragging on, what are we trying to accomplish? We want you to consider trying this idea for your brand. Our goal is to make people not hate you. I have a friend of mine who is a specialist and I invited him to talk to you for a few minutes. Let me get him on the Zoom as he is waiting on the video call bridge. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. And what did you say you do? I'm the body language guy. Okay, got it. Let's get down to it. Awesome, let me get you up to speed. We have been discussing that, less is more concept. We know our princess has been working hard at, um, stuff. What do you advise to help her popularity? I thought you said it was my husband who needed the improvement. I am sure he meant the both of us. Now, you might be wondering, what does not talking have to do with popularity? I never really thought about it. But there is one huge fact about our perception that is mystery. Mystery is something that every single person should be able to handle in a healthy way. This is why I need the security. You should never reveal everything about you on one sitting because you'll instantly become boring. But what about never getting a second chance to make a first impression? Sometimes you only get one shot, and I like to be as comprehensive as possible. Because every personal aspect of your life that you reveal reduces your mystery. Wake up. Terribly sorry, it is this California sunny weather. I am not used to it yet. You risk being seen as a privileged whining brat, especially if you have millions in the bank, all the fame in the world, and act like you've been struggling. Was that directed at me? My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas and it will always be a pleasure, my body language bodies. Much love and bliss.